Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, gonna see if I can try to make this quick. Have here today is an iPhone that is boot looping. Initially, this thing had a problem with the um, with the audio IC issue, and this was maybe about a month ago or so, two months ago. They had brought it in, um, and they just kind of wanted to see, you know, what the issue was or or they don't know what was going on, and um, they said they were going to bring it back to have that audio IC issue fixed, where you know you can't go on on speaker, you can't record. Uh, I think I'm hearing that even on Snapchat and stuff like that, you're not able to do certain things uh, where it won't record you, or you can't even record the video. But anyways, uh, now it's back here again because apparently it got worse. Uh, she did mention that sometimes it would even take forever to boot, so. The phone itself could probably be sitting, you know, four or five minutes, ten minutes for it to boot. And that's usually a sign from the uh, the audio IC chip as well. But there could be other factors, you know, that could weigh in on, on this particular issue. So without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and simply most likely replace the audio IC just for the fact that it's boot looping. But... um. If once we take the audio IC, we do see that you know the lines are kind of really bad or something, uh, we might just end up uh, running the trace on the uh, on the audio IC rather than removing the whole thing itself. Uh, let me move this a little bit more out of the way. So I'm going to see if I can pull this. I should have probably done this before I even started recording, uh, just to have all this out of the way. But uh, I guess I, you know, show the whole process on how to take this this phone apart. And um, I try to say this all the time: keep your screws together, uh, literally the same direction, the same order. Because although they may look the same, some look identical. They are not. Uh, so let's just connect the battery first. And um, yeah, if, if if you end up taking all the screws, put them in a bucket. And then you go and put your phone back together and start just picking screws and be like, okay, well, this one fits here. Okay, well, this one fits here. And then you happen to get one of the long ones that does not go in the deep holes. Uh, yeah, you're going to drill through the layers of the motherboard. And uh, if you initially had one issue, you're probably going to have a ton more. And, I mean, this could be from backlight, from you know, Wi-Fi, and, and God knows what. Um, so, anyways, we got our screen off the phone. Let's go ahead and see here. Um, Got to really disconnect a lot of stuff. And it only takes, you know, five minutes or so. I'm not going to go too much into detail as far as all this stuff for the phone. And I need to get a different placement for this camera. So it's out of my scope's way. And you guys can still see because right now, see, it's comfortable for me, but it's not so visible for you guys. So let me, I'm actually kind of backed up with a lot of these repairs. Uh, some of them are straightforward. Some of them required a lot of troubleshooting. So usually the ones that required a lot of troubleshooting I do late at night because um, I could sit there for one, two, three, four hours and not get anywhere. And then, you know, a day, two days later, I'll go back at it again and spend another two, three, four hours and still not get anywhere. So I can't repair everything, although I do try my hardest to to find some kind of a solution. Um, I had one iPhone 7 for a customer um, for another shop, actually, another shop. Uh, I got a couple of shops that bring in stuff, and um, this was one that it it was an iPhone that they changed the housing from black to red. And in the process of doing so, uh, I'm guessing, you know, they, they damaged so many things on there that when the phone was put all back together, it wouldn't get Wi-Fi. It wouldn't read the SIM card, I think. It had the audio IC issue. Um, so whether it happened during the transfer, whether it happened, you know, before, I don't know. Anyways, long story short, uh, I spent I don't know how many hours on that phone, and the more I kept digging and digging and digging, I just kept finding another issue and another issue. 
and kept tracing that issue. And yeah, pretty much long story short, at the end of the whole thing, uh, I was not able to get that phone back up. And I probably could have, but it would have required a ton, you know, amount of time, more than what I had already spent on it. So I just, you know, decided, um, yeah, that was going to be one that I just wasn't going to be able to fix. Although I tried everything, unfortunately, I won't be able to get to everything. Um, in this case, this phone, I really do hope that it's just the audio IC. Because if it's not, then we're going to go on a wild goose chase to see what the problem is. And I think at this point, I got everything off the board. Uh, let's see if it's going to come up. If it is... Yes, 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 beautiful. So there it is, iPhone 7 Plus uh, motherboard. That's just the, the phone itself. Let me see if I can, what happened to me? Do I have a me cam in here? No, I do not have a me cam. Can I add my PDDD? Me, Logitech, uh, Scope, laptop. Oh, what's well, gonna be considered that? So let's do that. Let's do that. Hey, there I am. Okay, we'll put myself on this corner over here real quick. And see if we can do this that way. So that works for now. Okay, so, and you know what? That's going to have to switch again because I'm going to have to go to the scope. So when I go to the scope, I'll do that, and I'll still put myself in here somewhere. Video. By the way, if anybody's looking for a laptop, uh, a gaming laptop, let me know. Um, I'm trying to switch out my gaming laptop for a gaming desktop. And it doesn't have to be a gaming. I just say gaming for the fact that those are usually the high-powered PCs. Um, wow, this is a piece of glass. What? Where did this come from? And my scope is frozen again? Are you serious? What did I tell you? No biggie, this should be able to fix it. Aha, see, but that's weird. I found a piece of glass on the phone, and it doesn't even have a broken screen. So now all I could think of is um, somebody might have attempted to repair this phone before, or they might have messed with it, although everything seems to be pretty intact. Let me see. This is, looks horrible. There we go. Okay, so this works. Um, but yeah, no, I'm not seeing really the sign of anybody. Oh, look, that's a 128 memory. Can't see right there. That is your memory. So it's a 128 gigabyte. That's the, the NAND chip. Um, there's some videos, I think I mentioned it before, that show how you can actually replace that. But anyways, I'm looking at everything, and it looks in really great condition. I don't think this has been messed with, so that's weird how that piece of glass ended up in there. Maybe they, at some point, did um, replace the screen, and uh, that's when some of the damage might have occurred. Let me take a look at the screen real quick, see if it's an original one. Nope. Yeah, so the screen was replaced before. One of the easy ways to give away in here, uh, in this part of the screen, there is usually uh, an Apple logo. I don't know if I have one to show you here. Let me grab one of these. No, that's not going to have it. How about this one? Nope, that's not going to have it. Uh, this one does. Okay, so if you look at this one, you see the little Apple. So that's one of the quickest way to kind of tell. But... Uh, don't let that fool you. They, I've seen Chinese companies put that Apple logo in there too and call it original. But for the time being, okay, at least that explains why we have a piece of glass because the LCD has been replaced. So again, then our, our boot loop could be due to the fact that also they damaged this ribbon cable here. Um, this ribbon cable here is pretty much an actually, you know what, let's go back to this one. This cable right here, it's what controls, you know, the, the sensors for the proximity, your camera, your selfie cam, your speaker. <coughs> and if any of that is bad, 
it could send the phone on a boot loop trying to get it to boot and it doesn't boot and it doesn't boot and it doesn't boot. Um, aside from everything, everything looks pretty normal. They are missing one screw right there. Um, it's supposed to have, see, the little tri-wing like that and it's missing, ah, right there. Kind of hurt. Anyways. Wasting too much time. Let's go ahead and get this shield removed um, and see what I could find. Uh, what is this temperature set at? Okay, let's get a little bit cooler. And just for safety as usual, let's go ahead and put something to protect the NAND. So I'm just going to heat up this little paper real quick and maybe the board too. Get everything kind of warm. And I really hope nobody comes in right now because it's during the day and I'm open. So anybody can come in here right now. Uh, and then I'll have to edit the video, which I really don't want to. But nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Too quick. Be right back.
All right, you see what happens? Um, now my board is cool off again. Got to warm this up again. No biggie, no biggie. Didn't get too hot, just a little warm. Uh, since I pulled this cover off, um, I got a million things I got to do today. It is getting crazy. It usually does. The closer we get to Christmas, the crazier it gets here. That's warm enough. I'm just let's get this out of here, and I will keep it there since we're not doing anything extravagant just yet. That came off easy and beautiful. All right, so there is our audio IC chip. Um. You know what? Scopes eye. Can we add this in here? Did we lose the scope? No, we didn't. So why is scope eye? Oh, because it's not visible. Durr. Okay, so we'll switch these around. Just so. Oh, anyways, there is our audio IC chip, and some wonder we're going to have a break. So anyways, without, again, any more wasting of time, let's do this real quick. I like to make sure I have enough flux in there. So this kind of flows through real easy. Uh, where's my needles? Shoot. I mean, needle nose, needle nose, needle nose. Favorite ones. Here they are. That's good enough. And this time I gotta just switch that. Make sure that's covered up good. And make sure you guys can see that. Back out a little bit more. Nasty flux. I just like solder or something. Anyway, um, let's grab this IC real quick. Heat it up slowly, and here it comes out. One. And burn it. Is it still connected? Yeah, okay. So surprisingly, no pads came off. Um, I thought maybe some pads would have lifted or something, but I didn't see any. Let me switch to my other tweezers. Uh, let's zoom in here. Hmm. What is that? And you know what? I forgot I don't even have my ZXW open. Let me check something. I've done this, I don't know how many times, 10, 15, 20 times, and till this day... I still forget. I get it confused with the uh, the pad for for the touch IC, which is very similar to this one. And then I get confused as far as the location of it. But let me go back here real quick. Because <sighs> if I'm not mistaken. Is one of these. Ah, this thing's still too hot. 
Anyways, let's go to ZXW. iPhone 7 Plus. So we're going to go down here. So normally, that's why I had confused it last time. Okay. So, uh, no, I'm not trying to go to the schematic. Okay. So that's the main break, audio codec. Uh, so that's where our problem. So it is a third one. The other two are grounds. And uh, usually there's more further down at the bottom that I've seen that sometimes get loose. But this one seems kind of solid in there, which is kind of a surprise. Here's my exacto knife. I'm going to go probing around. Yeah, that one seems pretty solid at the moment. Ow. But I feel like I could just rip it off. No, it's got a little thing I see on the bottom. Hold on, let me look over here. So that one, and then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more that are along that path. Let me see if any of these other ones are weak. Nope. Nope. This one, as I, as I even squeeze it, I see um, I see a little bit of flux, like it's underneath it or something. So. I'm trying to I'm trying to hold down the board and it's still pretty hot. I don't really see the actual breakage in this thing, but oh there you go. See that thing just flew right off. It always does. It just you give it a nice little nudge and it comes so easy. So Alright, let me turn this around real quick. All right, so let's clean this up real quick. Let's clean all these pads. Um, let's put some more flux in here real quick. And let's clean these. <sighs> da, da, da. Nobody's coming in. Already. Whew. Smoke it, smoke it. Turn the extractor. There you go. I'm not trying to get cancer. Get that nickel out of the way. Okay, so it doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be clean. Now I'm going to have to reball that IC since I'm going to reuse it. Um, and darn it, I forgot to freaking look at the position of it. No biggie, no biggie, no biggie. I'm going to make sure there's nothing else in here. No. That looks pretty good. Let me clean up one more time.
All right, so everything looks pretty good. There's a corrupt. Uh, I just got a 10 up. I'm going to run the new pad. So I will put a little bit of fresh flux, just a little dab, just so I can just 10 it. Ah, micro pencil. And let's flip this around. I swear we all try to fight each other. Okay, good. That works. That other pad got a little bit of more solder on it. If I can clean it up. There you go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Nobody has extra solder. No. Okay, so now um, let's run a jumper while I'm here. And then to give you guys an idea what this jumper is, probably as thin as a hair. It is super, super thin. Um, maybe a hair, maybe a little bit thicker. I forgot the exact <coughs> diameter of this thing. Um, I say it's somewhere in here. 10 millimeters, there you go. So whatever that is, that's how tiny this strand is. But um, let's go back to tinning this real quick. Let's actually tin this real quick to where are you at? This thing is so cold um, at the solder, pretty much it's so hard to to get it at 10, especially on top of a nickel. It's probably the worst place, but I make it work. That's all that matters. Get it hot enough, that burn off the coating off of it, and then we'll just tin it off right here off. There you go. Nice and silver. Move that out of the way. Okay, so let's go back over here again. And let me grab my tweezers because sometimes I tend to do this without my tweezers. I don't know why. I just do. And... Um, I got a busy, 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 busy day today. Okay, I'm getting confused with this scope. All right, anyways, who cares about that? Let's just go back down here. Let's go down here. This darn thing doesn't want to stay. There you go. Um... I gotta push it down. Like so. Solid connection. It's beautiful. That works. Now we just got to break it all and put it in order. And I soldered it to the little, I'm not sure if it's a capacitor or resistor right there. I haven't looked it up to see what it is. But I soldered it to it, not just to the, the trace on the floor, just so it doesn't happen again.
That was quick. Beat at me quick. Okay, that works. So we'll leave that alone. Uh, let's just clean it up real quick. So there you have it. Let me see if I can get more light in there. So that's going to replace that trace. Let me center out just a little bit. So it's right centered. Perfect. So that's going to replace that pad that gets ripped off and off to our IC. So now we got to reball this IC and uh, iPhone 7, 7 Plus. We gotta clean it first. Where's my other tweezers? Tweezers, tweezers, tweezers. Where you at? Where you at? Let's go. There you are. Let's lock down here again. We get the big pencil. Come on, beep, 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 beep. Thank you. All right, so I'm trying to get all this nasty solder out of here. And then... Okay, let's not get picky and get perfect with this because that's how you start messing things up. All this black stuff. You see this one little thing that's bothering me and I think I might tack it. I might leave it. Nope, I'm going to tack it. There you go. Okay. Okay, there are shiny pads. Get all that nasty stuff on the top of that corner. Okay, time to reball this IC. Get some of that light off of it. You guys can see a little bit better. And where is my paste, 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 paste? I know I said this was going to be quick, and it has not been quick. I can see. It could have been, but I had a couple of customers that came in. Um, all right, audio IC, audio IC. Let's put you down there. Is that you? Wow, oh, what the hell is up with that? There's like something on the corner of it. Of my stencil. So let's see what it is. Okay, it's clean. Already, 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 already. Line it up, line it up. Now, if this audio I see issue doesn't fix the problem, my next thing is going to be the. Um, D, 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 what do you call it? The selfie ribbon cable. Being that the LCD is going to replace, I've seen those cause the same thing. Even the home button. 
the phone, the iPhone 7 is so picky when it comes to these things. Um, iPhone 6 um, or 7 and below, I should say, anything below the 7, you could practically rip everything off the board and the phone would still boot. This one, not so much. All right, let's warm it up. Let's warm it up. Try to see if we can do this one quickly without having to do it twice. All right, here they come. Oh, no, they're popping out of this thing. All right, well, let's, let's see what happens. One, two, and let's go. Beautiful. I think they went well. Uh, I see one at the end. That might be a little bit. Let's see. We'll just. Let's see what the balls look like on the other side. Uh, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. What the? How am I missing two balls? Yeah, I am missing two of them. That makes no sense. Oh, there they are. Okay, I'm just going to grab these balls manually and apply them. Uh, I think I can do that. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? There's one and there's the other one. So just push them to the other side and hope they don't fall out. Nope. Okay, that one did. One ball fell out. That one didn't. Let's go grab the other ball. It went to the other side. Keep playing games. Go from one side to the other. You know what? I could actually probably look at the ZXW and see if I even need these balls. I might not even need these balls. But... Yeah, I want you to see exactly what I'm doing. There's already I have one on the side. I'm about to put this one down. There you go. And then ah, darn it. You see, sometimes it might be easier to reball it. Sometimes I want to see if I can do this one little ball at a time. There's people who've done it one at a time. Let me hold this IC down because it's moving everywhere. Okay. So I got those balls in place. Now the trick here is to not blow them away and let them solidify and melt right where they're at. actually get close to them. <laughs> you see what I mean? You see what I mean? Okay. We'll hold this in place now. Just because we don't want the whole IC to fly off again. And if we're lucky, we'll be able to see this on camera. Try to see if I can focus this for you. All right, here we go. Hopefully, those little balls don't fly away and they just melt right where they're at. All the other ones could melt too. Hey, yes. Melt. Yes. All of these are so clear now. Is 
they're all nice and shiny, just like they need to be. So, there we go. Reballed IC chip. Perfect. That works for me. Now, the other only problem that I had is the fact that I didn't see which direction the chip went, which is a very common, I wouldn't say mistake. Um, just forget to look at the direction of the IC chip. So let's look at this one and see which way it goes. Okay, so the letters are facing me. So like as if I'm writing. All right, so we'll get this thing out of the way. Bring this one back over here. Um, that is in place. Let's put some flux on this thing and see if we can get this audio IC to sit. Uh, let me I don't want this IC to dance too much, but I'm trying to apply just a thin layer of it. Okay, so Audio IC, ooh, it's got a little nick there. Shouldn't affect it. I don't know how I put that on there, but I'm sure I did. Okay. So that's in place for the most part. Trying to center this as best as I can. And that'll work. I'm happy with that. Okay, and now, uh, once again, my nickel. Let's not get to cover that. I'm going to see if I can show you how this little guy is going to sit. Uh, do I have some on the right setting? Yep, let's go. Let me get my hand comfortable over here. <clears throat> so the board is pretty warm still, but I'm going to warm it up slowly once again. The more warm that the uh, board is, most of the time, it's, it's it's easier to solder this back in there. Um, you kind of have to apply less heat. The colder the bore, the more heat that you have to apply, usually. It just depends. But anyway, hold on. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Okay, I'm seeing the flux is starting to talk to me. And we're going to see it move very shortly. And there you go. It just sat itself down. Nudge it a little bit. There you go. That was kind of a big nudge. But that IC chip is there. I didn't knock anybody else, any neighbors, components, nothing, no, everything's to be fine. I still see my connection down there still attached to the um, resistor capacitors. I don't even know what it is. I haven't looked it up. Uh, this is probably, yeah, it's a little hot still. Okay, that's not that bad. Pull it off, pull it off, pull it off, pull it off. Let me put this over here on the fan. So anyways, what time is it? 1.53. Uh, while I cool off the board, give me just a second here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I got to go ahead and send myself an attachment. 
since I'm printing, I got to print something else. Let's save this image. Let's go to my messenger. Let's look for myself. Once we do that, let's send that one. Okay, let's go on the PC over here. Let's go over here, over here. Open this. Save image. Save that. Save that. Let's open up Photoshop. We'll need that in Photoshop. <clears throat> All right, so while that opens up, this has cooled off. For the most part, pretty cool actually. Not for the most part. Uh, let's go ahead and just clean off all this junk real quick. Oh, that's so nice and warm. I really hope there was no issue with the audio I see, which, like I said, it's usually just that breaking point. But being that this phone has been in another shop before, we don't know what else has been done to it. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm just going to close this back up. I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain that that's going to be the only issue unless, like I said, the selfie cam or something else has an issue with it as well. Um, and I am going to put it back in its case or housing, I should say, just to see what it does with all of its components plugged in. That goes there, that goes there, that goes there. Tweezers, tweezers, tweezers. Move this out of the way. Yeah, I definitely need to relocate this camera so y'all can see this better. But for now, I'm just gonna plug in all the basic stuff on here. I don't feel like doing much. Uh, let's put out these two standoff screws just so we have some support of the board. That's that. That's that. I am not going to mess with everything else. And if it still takes a long time to boot after this, uh, which for one, I think the battery was dead. So we might end up hooking it up to our own power supply. Um, and you know what? This battery does look bad to begin with. So, yeah, you know what? Uh, I just remember we are replacing the battery on this one as well. So let me go grab another battery and the board. Uh, let's put another one of these standoff screws. All right, so let me grab a battery for a 7 Plus. Uh, iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 7 Plus, 7 Plus, 6, 7, 7, 6S six, six Plus, 6S six, six Plus, 6S six, six Plus. Where are my 7 Plus batteries? Uh, 8, 7, 8 Plus, 8. Gotta put them over here. Seven plus. Okay. So let's move that connector completely out of the way. Let's see here real quick. What do we got? So I'm not going to install this battery in there yet. This ribbon is going to come off completely. So I'm not worried about it breaking as I broke one in my last videos. Um, that's out of the way. That's out of the way. And let's just see if it wants to boot or if it boots. All right, so there's the Apple logo. Let's turn this light off real quick. No, nope, that'll make a difference. We still have the light up at the top. So we'll leave that there. Um, should boot up in about a minute or less. If it doesn't boot up um, and it goes into like the two minute or something, then we definitely, whoa, look at that. That thing booted instantly. Okay, so did I get the passcode for this device? Yes, I did. So let's go ahead and check and see if we can record an audio. 3, 7, 8, 25, 62, 37. That's, wait, that's the ticket. Hold on. Give me one second. I got 
home button's working. Okay, let me unlock this real quick. And let's go to voice memos. All right, so normally in here, we would not be able to record. So if this records, then we have fixed it. Now it's recording. Normally this wouldn't record. So at this problem, phone booted up instantly uh, when it was stuck on boot loop. Second, uh, prior to the boot loop, uh, customer was not able to record this. Not only that, if we made calls, actually, I, let me get it out of there. I don't know if there's any personal information to display. But uh, yeah, the phone is back to normal. It booted instantly. So that's going to go ahead and do it for this one. Uh, I may still have to edit the end of it just because, uh, not the end of it, the um, earlier. I want to spend, I don't know, a couple of minutes with the customers. But again, if you're having issues with your audio, you can't record Snapchat. Uh, people can hear you or you can't hear people on phone calls. Most likely this is going to be your issue. Until next time, I will see you.